Unlimited tanks in Hard Survive 4. No, not clickbait. I kid you not. Let's play as France. Well, 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 what do we have here? Surrendering today? Think not. Unfortunately, with war, there's always the unknown. Speaking of the unknown, PUBG Mobile is a free online battle royale for your phone. You've got everything. 50 million players, got it. Multiple game modes, including no solo, duel, and squad. Got it. Frequent collaborations with other talented IPs. Oh, we got it. I'm talking to the boys, Baby Shark, and Jujitsu Kaisen. And that's just what I've got off the top of my head. And with a new map, you could be living it up in Livic. You could be living the dream, getting chicken dinners on the new 51-player smaller dynamic map. So with smaller dynamic maps, we now have mini games. With many options such as football, you can take a relaxing break and take a tour of the football field, kicking back with the boys to earn some gold coins. Zip lining, you say? Ever fancied flying without the thrilling speed of a plane, but still with the previous danger of falling to your death? Well, zip lining was practically made for you, my friend. Escape danger, the area, or even your problems with the new piece of equipment. So what are you waiting for? Go download PUBG Mobile through the link in the description. And get yourself a winner winner chicken dinner. Grab the boyos, pop them right about here. You know the plan. Start the game. Classic feedback gaming. Merge all the boyos up. We always revive the block, so let's do something different. Let's form the popular front. This is the left path, and it's popular, apparently. Is he heavy thunk? Look at that boy. Chassis. Ugh. Look at that boy. These are the boyos we're going to pump out in mass numbers. And we'll uh, get the upgrade for extra armor just because we can. Civilian factories. Motorized, a few of them, a little bit of support equipment, a little bit of AA. I think that'll do for now. What is this? Man the guns? Ships? I think not. Convert everything to crap. Infantry template. Exercise. Indefinitely. Oh no, production problems. Inefficient economy. Well, I can't complain. Inefficient is better than strikes. <laughs> Popularity has been achieved. The popular front. And straight away, we're going to reform the laws so we get our production back. Give me back my production, please. Reforms. And now at this point, you normally go for strength in the government because you want to fix your disjoint government. But I'm like, you know what I want? Production. Let's go for the general work council, working our way down. Okay, so it's really important we go for these conversion technologies. Oh, look, the icon is different. I wonder if that's changed anything. Hmm. General work council. Council? What is this? The Middle Ages? Regardless, inefficient economy becomes efficient. Just 70 days away. It starts. The first improved equipment conversion tech means conversions happen 40% faster. This is the beginning of the exploit. After one improved equipment conversion, there comes two. Now, this exploit works without these technologies, but they become so much more effective with the first one and just considerably more effective after the second one. It's coming. Oh no, the inevitable. Improve relations with China. Boom, attache. Now we can get a super cheap early mobilization soon. There we go. Worker strike for a year. You've, you've got to be kidding me. French problems. Let's start working on some military factories. Boom! A little bit of excess XP. Why don't we make a tank? Basic heavy chassis. We'll go for the medium two-man turret because the one is awful and the three is a bit expensive. We'll pop on the improved small cannon because it's got really decent piercing and we're going to be fighting a lot of tanks. Bogey suspension, riveted armor, diesel, and 99 reliability. That looks pretty good to me. La exploit time! All right, so you're going to create the exact model of this. Create new. So we call it the Series A, shall we? And then we'll uh, start producing them. So we'll have a simultaneously one line of regular tanks and also the Series A's. Now, the trick to this is to produce one B1, the regular model, and then add the rest of your military factories on the second model. However, got to mention that this Margaret model is now discontinued. Remember, we now have two models. One that is discontinued and the other one that is the new up-to-date model. So now we need to build some production efficiency cap to produce enough for one of these for one per day. And then the fun begins. It's coming. So here we go. Production is pretty good right now. So remember, you should just assign enough military factories so you're making one per day. So as you can see here right now, we have one stockpile of the B1. And if we press this, boom, we're making 25. And as you can see, with more production efficiency cap over time, and more military factories assigned, you can see we're making 29 per day now. Yeah, this, this is getting kind of silly. 33. There's two things that hold you back here. Production efficiency cap is also good to get really high. Secondly, having lots of production output, always good. Thirdly, having lots of military factories, always useful. And of course, what I mentioned before, it's always a good idea to have the conversion tanks, both of them, because it just increases the amount of tanks that you magically pay out of the thin air.
And when your production efficiency gap gets high enough, and you're producing at least one a day, you can start to unassign military factories from the old out-of-date models. 51 per day, 52 per day, 120 per day, 7,000 tanks stockpiled. June 1939, we know what's coming now. So we're gonna have to make our ideal division template. So let's make this big boy. And then we're gonna slap on a maintenance company and a little bit of anti-air. Convert you guys to the new template. Start splitting them off. One on the Alps, one on the Maginot, and then two to defend Belgium. Defend in quotation marks. All right, it's time. Guarantee Belgium. Do you know when it's gone too far? When they invade our brothers, the Belgians. Unleash the beast heavies. You have 10K heavy tanks. You need 8,800 to fill out your, all your divisions. Don't mind if I do. Be aware it's quite important with this that you don't end up a deficit in tanks because that means your B1s will automatically go into your divisions. You want to avoid that. Hop into here, go into equipment, click on your heavy tank chassis and say, don't use the B1s, only the B1 series. That means these ones are going to stop, pal. All ready to be converted. Ah, how convenient. Pierce the tanks? I think not. Hey, hey, taking one of my provinces. Get back. Oh man, they're really fine for it too. And that's it, get back. The French brick wall cannot be defeated. Come on, give me, give it a try. No, no, no. That's right. Oh, okay, you are giving it a try. And that's right. Denied. Denied. And also burn all your equipment. Ah, meanwhile, production wise. Oh, does this hit convert? Oh, 223 heavy tanks. Now these tanks are pretty out of date now, but they're heavy tanks, so they've got a lot of armor. So uh, out of date, but still effective. And you guys screaming in the comments, you history nerds saying, oh, this won't work. This French tank has no radio. Well, what do you know? Hm? What do you know? What do you know? The losses, you say? 66k losses for France? And Germany coming up to a million. Oof. <laughs> okay, this is where things get, like, slightly complicated. So pay attention, boyos. So now we've got a new version of the tank. We have the improved chassis. I guess we can go really heavy on the production this time. We'll go for the three-man turrets, armor skirts... I guess we can now go for the medium cannon. It's a heavy tank, so we don't even need to bother with welded armor because it's already got lots of armor anyway. And then we slap on lots of armor and we're gonna need lots of engine to keep the speed up to four. And now we're really lacking reliability. So we go to torsion bar and then maybe a wet ammunition storage. Voila, 98%. Same again, make the same model, create a copy, make the old model decommissioned. That one is the old model, that one is the new one. The only problem with the medium cannon is it requires tungsten a lot of tungsten regrets ah balls i'm just going to improve the auto cannon i love it so much and now we have to hop into the division and specifically specify no b's a's or arls boom and then we can start converting again boom 111 brand new super heavy super armored boyos rush heavy three yeah i don't mind if i do and as soon as we've got so many heavy tanks more grand battle plan is no longer crap we have logistics focus five percent reduction in supply awesome and also theater training which gains us the adaptable trait at lightning speed oh, so worth it yes yes yeah <laughs> trained a new army 24 divisions of our finest heavy tanks led by Charles de Gaulle, he has a very bright future ahead of him. I can feel it. We will watch your career with great interest. Hey! First Boyo has got adaptable. Damn, grand battle plan. So strong. The grind of the Alps. I actually think we're winning, but it's very slow. The break has happened. Go, go, go. Oh no. Mussolini. Losing 25 divisions. Rip. I cost them 800,000. Ouch. Of all the nations to be beaten by, to be beaten by the French. Oh no, no. Mussolini. And that's an F. Oh wow, speaking of F, oh dear, Austria, rip, time to go aggressive, because who cares? I have so many heavy tanks, I can take the losses. A French sacrifice. Oh no, 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 no. Hang on a second. I get 1,200 points and the UK gets 1,100. What the hell, I pulled my weight way more than them. Why does this keep happening? Why does Slovakia end up surviving? You're a puppet of Germany. You should have capitulated with Germany. So I appeared into the future and I saw this Cold War scenario crop up and I was like, yeah, I don't want that to happen. <laughs> Off we go. Make a U-turn through the north, run across the coastline, and the fork of death. Look at that penalty for naval invasion, 55%. Actually, that's not that bad. I thought it was going to be 99%. But sadly, we've uh, arrived a little bit late. 
the Americans to the south and the Brits to the north. Better late than never, right? Peace in our time. The glorious allies. Ignore that. The glorious allies. This was the final template. Glorious. And now if we convert, <laughs> we make 400 super heavy advanced heavy tanks. Marvelous. Hey, you made it to the end. Now, this is the video you want.